Hello, and welcome to the Final Cut Pro 102 course. In this course, you'll learn the basics about importing and organizing media in preparation for any editing work. My name is Ben Balser. I'm an Apple Certified Master Trainer, and I'll be taking you through this very interesting course. If you follow a well-thought-out organization workflow, you'll spend time becoming familiar with your media and making important pre-edit decisions so that when you are ready to edit, you'll fly through the process much faster and easier. Proper organization of media is vital to a truly successful and trouble-free post-production experience. Before we get started, let's look at the basic paradigm Final Cut Pro uses to store and manage media. The top level of our hierarchy is the library. You can have as many as you like on any attached hard drive or network drive. Inside the library are events. These are virtual containers that are the second level of media management. Inside these events are the imported media, specialized containers, and projects where your editing work is done, as well as collections. Collections are very important, and we'll learn about them in this course. Be aware, if you are not familiar with your media before you start placing clips in a project timeline, I can assure you, you'll eventually get lost, waste time trying to find clips you think you may or may not have, and run into speed bumps constantly. Final Cut Pro bases media management on metadata, which means we can organize easily, quickly, and with amazing flexibility. You're about to learn about keywords, tags, and collections, the building blocks of media management that are not only efficient, but fun to work with. So with that hierarchy in mind, we can now learn about the magic that is importing and organizing in Final Cut Pro.